All right, welcome back to the channel. This will be another uh, back-related update. I recently just had my two-year anniversary uh, of my L3 through L5 lumbar fusion, laminectomies uh, from 2021. So I celebrated that also by seeing my surgeon after two years with a, an appointment that I had set up just because I, well, if you've seen my recent videos, um, just because I had some concerns, I had some increased symptoms the last probably six, seven months that really started kind of last November, December, really. And um, so I set up an appointment with him because normally he wouldn't have seen me uh, this far out. And, um, you know, we reviewed the symptoms and reviewed the recent MRI and CT scans I had a couple months back. So he always looks at those with me kind of in, in detail and basically showed me that everything looked exactly as it was. Uh, there's nothing obvious. He said, I'm, there's nothing on here that makes me want to do any more surgery. Uh, everything is exactly where it needs to be. And because some of my symptoms that I've had the last several months, especially my left foot, which is usually my good foot, um, was feeling pretty bad. Lots of, you know, tingling, numbness. Um, so maybe some increased soreness and pain in my legs. Uh, right foot's always a little funky, so I'm kind of used to that. Uh, but there were some times over the last several months where my left foot felt worse. And that had happened on occasion before when I felt like I aggravated something. So he said, well, some of these symptoms look like they could be, you know, L5, S1. We looked at that on the scans. Actually, everything looks really good there. Uh, we talked about <clears throat> adjacent segment disease, but typically that happens a little bit later. But he says there's no signs of that at this point. Uh, we did discuss the fact that for the longest time, especially when it got cold over the winter, that my back was really tight and things seemed to get a little bit worse. And I was alternating, you know, hot packs, uh, cold packs, which seemed to help. This is back January, February. Haven't, need to, haven't really needed to do that as much lately. Um, and actually now that things have heated up and I'm back coaching softball and I feel like I'm moving again, I've actually felt a lot better the last several weeks. Um, I still have the funkiness in my right foot and sometimes in my right quad. My left foot, it's kind of intermittently, you know, not great, um, but it's better than it was. And I'm back to hiking as well. Um, some pretty, I mean, fairly significant hikes. And after I hike or if I'm doing the softball or both, everything feels a lot better. Uh, my muscles are looser, and we talked about how, with the muscle tightness, how that can affect nerves, and, and, you know, I think he was politely kind of saying, you know, you need to not baby your back quite as much, because I've been really careful, like, I haven't bent over for, you know, pick up anything or anything like that since before the surgery. I've been extra careful using my legs, squatting down. He said, not that he wants me to do anything crazy and bending and lifting, you know, something that's gonna really hurt me, but he says, you know, you can bend, you know, within reason. My range of motion is actually pretty good. We tested it, and whether it's kind of arcing back or bending forward really without pain. So I feel like the muscles in my back now, which were maybe a little stiff and not being used as much, um, feel more kind of flexible and, and loose now, which seems to have made a difference. So I'm feeling pretty good. Um, I feel like I'm kind of on the rebound or maybe just by increasing activity and in conjunction with the, the increased temperature. Uh, he wants me to really start getting back to the push-ups. He says pull-ups and, you know, I told him that I you know, hung from the pull-up bar way back when and that maybe that aggravated. He says if that can help stretch it out a little bit, he said within reason, you know, you can start doing it in the pool, hanging on the deep end. Um, he wants me to use my inversion table um, to start slowly again, but he thinks that will help relieve some of the pressure a couple times a week just for, you know, a minute or two, nothing, nothing major. Uh, but he really wants me back out there doing what I, I really want to do. So I think that was, that was encouraging. I'm still on the Neurontin. He says it's kind of up to me whether I want to taper off. I, you know, I don't know. It'd be interesting to see if I got off of it. Um, is it really doing anything for me? Because about a year ago, I wasn't taking it at all. I mean, I really felt like I peaked at that point. 
about a year after the surgery and feeling good, no neurotin. So I think I will plan to get off of it over the next several weeks to see what happens with that. It'd be nice to not have to worry about taking something like that. Um, but that's really about it. I'm just kind of looking at my list here of things that we discussed. Um, so I'm feeling very optimistic. I feel like today when I was hiking, again, I, I just kind of block out the right foot funniness. I really felt, you know, pretty good. It's not really, uh, and, and coaching and stuff, it's not really on my mind because it's not really affecting me. I can, you know, pitch to the girls and that kind of stuff um, using heavy balls or softballs and, you know, throw pretty hard, swing the bat, and, and it just feels very loose and good. I mean, when I was hiking today, there was one point where I kind of stopped and thought, you know, it doesn't feel like I had surgery on my back because everything felt so loose and, and kind of warmed up. So I'm taking it as a good sign. Um, you know, I think there's going to be ups and downs. Um, I think, you know, the temperature maybe did affect a little bit, or maybe that in conjunction with not really <clears throat> doing as much activity had things kind of tighten up uh, in my lower back. Uh, he did show <clears throat> on the scans that my core, uh, compared to prior to surgery, I had lost a little bit there, so I need to really beef up my core stuff again to help out. I think that's going to be huge, so I'm definitely going to do that. Lose a little bit of weight that I had gained over the last year or so. Not anything crazy, but maybe drop, uh, you know, 10 pounds or something. Anything helps, I think, to kind of lighten the load on your back. We also talked about uh, removing hardware, and he doesn't think we really need to do it. He just leaves it. Leave the screws in there. Um, he doesn't think they're affecting anything based on how they're looking on the scans. He really feels like... There's nothing going on there. It's not really worth it. And why go under again just to have another procedure if if everything's okay? Um, if that changes in the future, then we can consider it. But he said, nah, we don't need to take the hardware. I'll just leave it in there. Um, so that's what I'm going to go with. So, I'm again, I'm feeling optimistic. Um, you know, this is two years out now, and things still change. And it's probably going to be like this for many, many years. And, you know, you just learn to live with it. And I'm, again, even when I was feeling really bad the last few months before things started improving again, I mean, it was still better than what it was before the surgery. So, you know, I tried some other things, um, you know, different supplements, um, uh, you know, I don't know if they're really doing anything, um, the alpha-lipoic acid, which is, I think, mainly for kind of blood sugar regulation. Uh, it's supposed to help with nerve stuff. I don't think it's really going to help me, given that um, I don't have issues with blood sugar. Uh, but I've been trying it, you know, just, just to see. Um, but I'll probably stop that here. I don't think that's what's uh, causing my improvement. So, you know, I've spoken with a few of you. Um, over YouTube, some of you are, you know, having the surgery or prepping for it, and I know it's a scary feeling, um, and for those of us that have done it, we've been there, and we know how it feels, but um, again, reach out if you have any questions, and again, all of you have really provided me with a lot of good insight and information, too, that I've tried to take in and, and use when I can, so keep it coming. Uh, and good luck to everybody out there who's uh, getting ready for, for back surgery. All right, take care.